Hey guys, before I get started today, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to have my review of the Flycolor Raptor S Tower. Now, if you guys didn't see my video before, my overview, go back, go ahead and check that out. Maybe some things in here that I'm leaving out. Um, but first, we're going to go ahead and get into price. Uh, my video before, it was on a flash sale. And sorry to say, if you didn't grab it, you guys missed out. But at the price of $83.67, I do believe this is still a very good deal. And I would highly suggest this for those who like simple builds, don't want to solder too much. Pretty much all you're going to have to solder on here is the motor wires onto the ESCs and the XT60 or whatever pigtail you're going to use for your battery. And that's it. So very easy, very simple to build. Now, this tower is good for pretty much from 130 millimeter size quads on up. Uh, we have 130, it's kind of a little stretch, but I've seen it done. And for what you get with this tower, guys, it's, it's pretty great. Now, this is... If you don't know, this is a all-in-one PDB, ESC, FC, OSD, all that in one. Um, it comes with 30-amp ESCs. They're capable of running D-Shot 600. And these are, in case you're wondering, the chip on the ESCs is BBM2 or BB2, which is pretty much the best out currently for BL Heli S ESCs. Um, and like I said, guys, this thing is just simple. It, you, as you can see, solder up your motor wires. See the, the, well, you see it in there. There's not much to it. I got my VTX back here, my receiver back here, and camera up here, and that's it. Makes for nice, clean builds. Um, and like I said, really simple. I'll have some pictures up from my build, which isn't really too much. I mean, because <laughs> like I said, it's pretty simple. Um, now, some things I like over the original um, tower. Uh, let's see, where is it? I really like the improved layout of the solder pads. Kind of hard to show. Not really a good picture, but I like I actually like the solder pads over here on the side. I mentioned this in my other video. For me, that's really convenient, and the pigtail on its own little board out here in the back. I really like that. Now, when everything is great, like I said, these are BL Heli SESCs. This runs what PWM, regular PWM, one shot 125, one shot 42, multi shot, D shot 150, 300, 600. It runs everything pretty much. It's 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 very versatile. It supports um, let's see, PPM. PWM, SBUS, IBUS, all the proper pro protocols for the receiver. It has um, ports for LEDs, for buzzers. It has a 5-volt, 1-amp output. Um, output. <laughs> a 12-volt, 500-milliamp output for your VTX and your camera. 5-volt for your receiver. and your, uh, your receiver, your LEDs, and your buzzer all run at 5 volts. Um a couple negative things real quick. Uh, from this, there's not too much negative about it, honestly, guys. The only thing I can really say is that you may need to soft mount your motors. Obviously, you can't really soft mount your flight controller because it's on the stack. I mean, well, maybe you could, but no, because you have to have it together. So you can't really soft mount your flight controller. You might have to soft mount your motors, and that's about it. Because you may get some yaw twitches if you're not, if you're... Quadcopter has too many vibrations coming through. Um, other than that, there's not too many downsides. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my setup. Let me go ahead and connect to, to Betaflight and be right back. Okay, so here we are on Betaflight. Let me go ahead and show you guys a few things that are important um, for 
in case you guys reset everything you need to come and set it back up so first thing that's important your ports MSP needs to be enabled on UART 1 and 2 and of course you know you do your serial RX if you're using that now for the setup as you guys can see I am running DSHOT 600 now I've barely just started using multi-shot and hey this thing say with DSHOT capable so let's jump right into it DSHOT 600 works great um, VBAT is on so you can monitor the voltage of course because it does have the OSD and OSD draws from the flight controller so you do need to have it enabled go ahead and have your receiver set up as you can see I am running 4k 2k not sure if it can go much higher than that but at 4k 2k I'm running about 20% down here and I don't like to go much over 20% so that's where I'm going to leave it personally and other than that I just have black box enabled one other thing before I move on to the next thing I will say that the instructions that came with this are actually pretty nice and I actually learned some things from reading <laughs> about the ESC programming on the back so these are really nice instructions shows you all your ports shows you the voltage for your ports makes everything really simple to hook up now a couple things like I said this is running MWOSD um, I'm going to link to a video down below because I personally didn't do it but there's a video right here of how to get into the MWOSD through Betaflight serial pass through if you guys want to take on that task go ahead and do it most of the things can be set from the OSD itself um, I should have some video footage up or at least a picture of what my OSD looks like it it's pretty good it's set up pretty good stock now, I don't think you're really gonna need to change anything but if you want to if you want to use the actual configurator you can go ahead and do this I'm not sure if you can update MWSD, MWSD but you can change the settings so I'm gonna have a link to this this is the flight brothers uh, video down here with those instructions now also I want to point out that this is running D shot I can't remember what it came flash with but you want to update it probably to the newest and the newest is 16.65 um, or not these shot BL heli update BL heli to 16.65 if you don't know to enable D shot and BL heli s all you're pretty much doing is you update to the newest one and select D shot and you're running D shot and that's pretty much it um, so it's a good place to check out here check out the D shot um, hub or whatever wiki github for D shot over here and also one thing that's really cool um, in the newest BL Heli S is the startup tones, which isn't really much to do with the stack itself, but I thought it was pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my startup tone just because. Because <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. So let me go ahead and plug this in. And I can show you guys what the OSD looks like. Turn my transmitter on here. Yes, I should have the props off. I know. All right. <laughs> if you guys don't know, that was the Game of Thrones theme. I know it's like a super long startup, but it's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, anyways, let me go ahead and set this to the side real quick, show you guys, give you guys a little example of the OSD. Um, so, now the RC Flyer 85 is put on with my run cam as usual, but up here at the top, we have fly color, it shows you what mode you're in, uh, if I get this to focus down here, you have your battery voltage at the bottom left, got current usage uh, right here in the middle bottom milliamps used right next to down the right and um, your flight time down here at the bottom right you have of course arm to disarm and I do you want to show you uh, to get into the settings on here of course you're gonna hold let's see if I can get both of these on the screen you're gonna put your throttle in the middle assuming you're in mode 2 you're gonna go right on the throttle stick go so hold it right and push up over here and you'll get into the settings now inside the settings you have a bunch of options and 
you know, I suggest you guys go through here, set it up how you guys want to. And there's a lot of things to configure if you don't want to go into the computer program and do the serial pass through. Okay. Now, I will say, if you're having issues with getting into this menu itself, you're going to want to go into beta flight and make sure that your RX ranges are set up correctly so that in the receiver tab on beta flight, your ranges go from 1000 to 2000. If they don't, it will not let you into this menu properly. Okay. Um, and I think that's about it, guys. Uh, let me go ahead and unplug this for, <laughs> for I forget. Don't want to chop up anything on the, on the bench. Uh, I think that's about it. Like I said before, it's a great value. Uh, the only negatives is it is a little susceptible to vibrations, so take caution with that. I'm waiting on some soft mounts myself, um, but it still flies pretty good. Uh, another downside, I guess you could say, it's a general downside to all in one of those. Of course, if something burns out, you're pretty much buying a whole new board. I don't think there's replacements at the moment, so another thing to take into consideration. But all in all, guys, this is a really nice board. I highly endorse these. Um, they fly great. Not a lot of issues I've heard with these. A lot of the issues is people trying to figure stuff out. So, you know, of course, if you have questions, I'm a person to hit up. Just drop a drop any question in comments below. Um, and yeah, guys, I think that's about it. If I, got, if I forgot something, I'll try to throw it in, in my editing. And I'll try to get some flight footage up, hopefully. But that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.